Thanks to ever-evolving geometry and suspension, modern trail bikes are quickly becoming the answer to, well, almost anything you want them to do. And that includes a lap on your local flow trail or maybe even a pretty gnarly enduro race. Now the latest bike to add to that list, it's this, Da Vinci's all new Troy. It's a 140 millimeter travel 29er with either a 150 millimeter or 160 millimeter travel fork that's made to do pretty much everything even if some of those things are a little bit sketchy. Da Vinci has put together five different Troy models, and this sand-colored bike next to me is the 12-speed XT LTD version that goes for $6,200. It comes with a 160mm travel fork, all the others get 150mm travel forks, and guess what kind of drivetrain? There are no zillion dollar XTR or Axis versions, but it does start off at a pretty reasonable price point. 2,800 bucks gets you 12 speed Dior, rock shock suspension, and all that's hung off the aluminum version of the Troy frame. You can get yourself a GX Troy for $3,600 and that's all hung off an aluminum frame. And if you want carbon, it starts off with a GX bike that has some upgraded bits and you get a carbon fiber front triangle with an aluminum rear end for $4,400 American. Full carbon bikes, well they get GX as well and they start off at $5,200 American. And the next step up, well it's this bad boy, the LTD, with this 160 millimeter travel Fox 36 on the front. All right, let's talk frame details now. And while the basic silhouette is similar to the previous Troy with a vertical shock, a rocker link, and split pivot suspension, it's actually an entirely new frame front to back. But it did keep that angular, unique look to it that I think is pretty interesting. You guys tell me what you think. The new frame is 29er only, so there's no longer a 27 and a half inch wheel Troy in Da Vinci's lineup. It also has all the things that every trail bike should have, including more than enough room inside the front triangle for a large bottle, a two bolt ISCG tab setup, and plenty of frame protection. There's also room for a 2.6 inch wide rear tire if you want to squeeze that in. Da Vinci says that, that clearance is largely possible because of their 12 by 157 super boost hub spacing that I know some people are going to get upset about. Now the good news is that Da Vinci has actually slimmed down the external width of the system by almost 10 millimeters, so it is a whole lot slimmer at the back end, shouldn't catch on rocks or anything like that. Other things to mention include a threaded bottom bracket and a geometry adjustment at the lower shock mount that we're going to talk about in a little bit. That geometry adjustment system also serves as home for the cables and it's a pretty smart, clean setup. Another thing to mention, dual row sealed bearings in the rocker arm, so it should be moving smooth for a long time. Let's move on to suspension now, and no surprise, split pivot on the back of this bike. Now, DaVinci's been using this for many, many years now. It's from Dave Weagle, and what it is, is it lets the rear pivot rotate concentrically around the axle. Split pivot is a pretty straightforward suspension system, and they say that it lets them separate those acceleration and braking forces while also offering a good mix of energy and small bump compliance. And with today's modern shocks, you can pretty much get this bike to feel any which way you want. On to geometry, and just imagine a first look video where I tell you guys that this new bike is shorter and steeper than the previous version. Well, this isn't it. The new Troy is about 15 millimeters longer in reach across the board on all sizes. And that means that this large is 480 millimeters in the slack setting that you're all gonna put it in right away and just leave it there. So in that slack setting, you're gonna get a 65 degree head angle. Now let's say that you put it in the steeper mode. Just saying, you might. That's gonna raise the bottom bracket and it's gonna move the head angle to 65 and a half degrees. So one other thing to note before we move on, those numbers are for all the normal Troys. This is the LTD bike that has an extra 10 millimeters up front, so 160 millimeter fork. That also slackens the head angle by a further half a degree. So this LTD model is sitting at about 64 and a half degrees in the slackest setting. All right, let's talk chainstays now and they're size specific on the new Troy. That's a first for Da Vinci. So on the back of the extra small to the medium sizes, you're looking at a 435 millimeter rear end, relatively short, especially with enough room for a 2.6 inch wide tire. The next size up, the large, well, it goes up to 440 millimeters. And if you're a beanstalk on the XL, you get a 445 millimeter rear end. That's it for Da Vinci's new Troy trail bike. I think I'm gonna keep riding it. Stay tuned for a video review down the road.